we looked on the load board, found something from JB Hunt. Um, since we're signed up with JB Hunt, better to go to their website directly. Okay. Um, made an offer, got a counter offer, still made sense for us. And uh, we booked it. Right. So sales right here, right? We know that it's going to be 5,000 on the way. We know what time is the pickup. When is the delivery? Yes, we try to put more, but we know we realistically, actually, this is like almost two bucks per mile getting out. And we are still delivering on Friday in a strong area for what? Drive-in, right? Yes, our average right now is what? 267, 270, which is average national. But which load do we really need to get tomorrow? That has to be really strong load, right? To help us out to get higher than national average. And believe it or not, in Indianapolis tomorrow, a lot of people are going to be taking break, but our guy does not really need to go barbecue or anything else. So we're going to have a chance to find the good load. And we can go back to East Coast. We can go to South. We can go anywhere because he's fresh on ours. He just came back from vacation. So we have a lot of potentials, right? So we just need to pay attention to what? Due to, due to Memorial Weekend, hours of receivers, right? So good job. So now you know how to work with the app. I think this was a good example of understanding that it can be done like this. One, two, three, right? Yes. Too old. Too uh, put counter, put count, uh, put 23 again and counter. We're not going for 2000. No, you have to put the number again, 23 and counter again. So it's like a casino. On the second, 30 is, 30 is one to nine o'clock. Okay, Avi, come on, start making maps all together, all the cities and see if we are gonna get two and we can go back to Pittston and how much are they paying for this without, without posting? So you can 33. 33.50, What time? Uh, can you hold on for one second, please? No. Yeah. All right. Can we do a thousand on um, Pleasant Prairie? Seven fifty is all that we can do. At least nine. Two days, they come in. Before nine. holiday, not too many trucks willing to drive around. And Pleasant Prairie? Four hour drive. And next next day, what time delivery? Well, sometime in the morning. Yeah. What does it look like, Avi? Doesn't look like a dry hole kind of instead of going all 277. the way. Two seventy seven. Huh? Two seventy seven. So not bad, right? And we are delivering Saturday. Yeah. We still can, and we're gonna be in a strong. Over now, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Congratulations, Armena. You booked your first load, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. All right, this one does look like it is still available here. It's picking up on Tuesday at 1 p.m. It is going to be a one pick, two, or I'm sorry, the two pick, one drop. Do you do multiple drops? Um, normally we don't, but let's just get into details. Let's just figure it out first before I say no. Okay, well, your okay. first pickup is um, in Bartlett, Illinois. What's the commodity? It is going to be a uh, refrigerated good, 34 degrees. Okay. Um, um, the weight? It is going to be 43.4. Okay. And would you need the, the, uh, reefer need, the, the, the temperature on the uh, reefer again? 34 degrees? 34. Okay. When are we going to deliver? And, and when are we delivering? It looks like you are going to be in Bartlett, or I'm sorry, in Brewster on the 3rd at 10 a.m. Okay. Is that Can is you, that CNS? Is that what's what's the shipper? Is that CNS? No receiver. The shipper. Receiver. Yeah, I'm at the receiver. I'm sorry. What's the receiver? Uh, I just have Ace. Ace, and the shipper. Um, you have a Cheese America and a. Ten a.m. So ten, eleven, twelve, one o'clock. He's gonna leave. Yeah, you have enough time to go to Toronto, Ohio. Then right. You're gonna get loaded there. Then you're gonna sleep there for ten hours because you're gonna be out of logbook. Keep going. How much we have left till Brewster? We got four out of Brewster. Uh, six seventy-five. 
So yeah. it's more transit, but it's more. So unfortunately, you need to be at 42, 4300 for this. So okay. Okay. Um, is it any way I had to call a driver and make sure it was okay first? Um, is it any way we can be at forty three hundred for this load? Just sorry for that long hold. It looks no, okay. like thirty eight ninety nine is gonna be the best you can do. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to Thank stay you. firm to mine. Thank you. Have a good day, okay? You too. Bye. Transportation. I'm just calling to see if your driver's gotten unloaded. I mean, gotten loaded uh, up in uh, Montgomery, Brooklyn, Spain. Yes, he got loaded. And okay. he would have got unloaded if he would be a Boeing, but he's a truck driver. So, yeah, we're going to get unloaded tomorrow. No, everything was good. He got loaded really fast. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you. You have a great day. You bye -bye. too, sir. Bye-bye. Asking if he got unloaded. He, we are loading today, right? We are picking up today for GB Hunt, right? Kalila, can we get unloaded today when we have 650 miles drawn? We could no. if we are Boeing, right? That's why he was <laughs> laughing. I said, yeah, we could unload too if we are Boeing. We can just fly to Indianapolis calling me. You make them laugh. Yeah, well, because otherwise, otherwise it would be too stressful. Cancel the previous load and make a sincere story that TQL cancel our load and we're not going to be in Flagstaff, Wisconsin, right? And we got what? $350 more yes. for the well, same load. $350 is a lot of money for an operator. That okay. is. Yeah, that is. Our carriers are very... Uh... They have strong opinions, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they're there. They're a pain in the butt, and sometimes, sometimes the way they look at the business, it's not really business wise opinion. Sometimes they don't understand that maybe if you switch the routes or you you get out of your comfort or you go with market, you can be more profitable. And they just they just stay in their routine and plus two dollar fifty per mile oh my god i dispatch myself all my miles five bucks a mile really really that goes, that goes on with a lot of uh, dispatchers also I'm exactly that's either. why that's why i don't care i am i don't care if i say it directly on youtube in classes this is bs because why? I mean, Kalila, you were on the other side. Why would the broker pay somebody five bucks per mile when when the na uh, national average is like 250, 263 bucks, right? Oh, unless wow. what? Unless yeah. this is a spot market before holiday or something, right? Or mm -hmm. unless Kalila is a broker and, and I never... am and I am her sister who has a tracking <laughs> company. Maybe. Maybe we're gonna have those five bucks a mile and nobody can know about their relationship, right? <laughs> but you still, still, look, you my sister, you still won't get it for five, you get it for four. I still gotta make money. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, so um I just talked to my manager and we uh -huh. um this is a short load, but we we need to be at least at 1700. 17? Yes, sir. Can you tell me the uh, it's chocolate? chocolate. It's chocolate. Okay, what time is a pickup? And the time of the pickup? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. on Tuesday, right? On Tuesday, yes. And we're going to Ohio. Ohio, yes. Yeah, Finley, Ohio. I think that's going to work for us. I just have to confirm it for them just because it's a little bit over than what we wanted to pay. Right. Um, but it, uh, it, it might work. Um, you know. Right, 11 o'clock. Right. Perfect. It's a short load. Straight through, not bad, right, Kalila? Bad at all. Not bad. So if he gonna give us seventeen hundred, but look, he's trying to give you thousand before thousand, no, right. thousand no go seventeen hundred, yeah. Right. The owner operator, how much fuel he's gonna uh, spend? Hundred fifty dollars, right? Let's say. At least. Seventeen hundred, okay. Plus dispatch fee, plus whatever he's cost per day. So he's probably making. Uh, 11, 1200 clean that day. Isn't it enough money for one day? That's a lot of money. Yeah. Hey, I think we're going to cover you guys on that. Um, let me give you a call back here just in a couple minutes and um, confirm it. Yes. And while you're doing that, can you send over a packet? I'm going to send that over to you guys. So, uh, yeah, just fill it up. Packet, I just um, 
sent it over. We'll get you guys in the system, and I'll send that Raycon over to you. Okay. That to, send the Raycon to that same email as well? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, all right, yeah. So when I, and once I send the Raycon over to you, I'll give you a call back. Okay, look forward to hearing from you. No doubt. Sounds good. Thanks, Carter. All right, thank you. Bye. Appreciate it. Wow, look at you, look at your world, oh my God. Right? Oh my God, yes. Okay, how important, how important was that quick research? It was important right away. You so you sold 1500 they pay, you asked for 1750 did you get it? Yes. Yes, but what he wanted to pay you? Thousand. Let's look at this. Thousand. Yeah, it's still, it's still okay. Thousand divided by three thirty six. Well, it's what? It's still good money, right? But not good enough because it's in a short load. Other people charging, and what they give? They give zero. They give oh. printed materials without even answering their phone calls, without even giving you a chance to make that that phone call to say what is wrong here. Was like a. Uh three or four months ago. And then I was looking around. I was all like, mm -mm, nope, you can't. No, you're not offering what she's offering. Yeah, but, but plus, you know, this is so dynamic. So how can you talk about the rates? How can you talk about changing if you don't do it every day? That's why, that's why we are the best, right? Yes. <laughs> Come on, you my sexy girls. Thank you. You can whatever, I don't care. Candace to Colorado. You need to click at least three. So whatever you choose, I, I have what? Email, email, America, blah, blah, blah. Scrolling down, right? Right, Armina, nothing hard on scrolling down. We can all do it. Going, going, going. Oh my God, how many things waivers. Look at all those dispute resolutions, see? If you really read, if you really read all this, you never want to be a carrier ever again. Certificate, okay. Here you go, open. Okay, PDF, contract. Okay, so whatever is read, W9. Okay, choose file. Okay, where is their W9? Here you go, their W9. Company profile, what I'm gonna put here. You know what, I am gonna give them setup, right? So they have everything if they miss something. And also they want proof of authority, right? MC number. So proof of MC. That's it. We added everything. If you want to add anything else, you can do it, but we done. So anything in red. So let's see. Your document has been successfully submitted. Let's look. What did we do so far? Look, we've been just practicing for an hour. First, we need to make sure that we receive what? We never receive that uh, refer rate confirmation, right? Insurance, they didn't want me to get it, right? Because they're afraid of people scamming them. So they contacted exactly insurance agency and hear what they got. They got certificate of insurance with all the things and they did verify if that truck exactly on that insurance, right? So per load, right? We booked the load for today for driving. It's going on to East Coast for Friday, right before Memorial Weekend. Today is Tuesday. Don't you think we're going to work on it right away, right now? To get him to back. Get him yeah. out, to get him out. So that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I need to close that load in their system, right? And plus, we need to make sure that we tell them, well, hopefully it's no OS and Ds, right? It's a clean BOL. And in this case, well, thank you for an opportunity to prove them we did a good job. Secondary, you want to make sure that you eliminate those phone calls, right? Because right now we're just talking about one, two trucks when you have five, six, seven, and people still going to try to reach you just to get an update. Oh, did you get unloaded? Did you get loaded, right? So even now in the transit, when it's going to get closer to 4 p.m., I will say, well, he's on a schedule, right? All good to go because I don't want to receive those phone calls. I already have enough phone calls, right? So eliminating phone calls plus it's going to prove that you are a reliable carrier, right? Because we're trying to build a relationship, especially for new carriers, okay? Okay, now, come on. I want to see that sassy energy from both of you. <sighs> I want to hear it in your voice. So 
Let's make those phone calls. But tell me, Armenia, what do you, Armenia, what do you think you really need to improve? Like, what is the most scariest part about calling? Asking questions. Um, what the X next? Okay, but you know the questions, right? We have those questions. I wrote down like a like a checklist. This way, you don't have to remember. You don't have to worry about. Am I going to remember? It's just in, it's the same questions over and. Yeah, so you have to prove it. So if you still need to do that, Armena, maybe today you need to write them. And actually, you know what? I suggest you. Yes, you can print them out. It's fine. But also, I suggest you to write them down because when you're going to write them in the order, you're going to memorize them. Wow, you guys did a good job. Look, we got the setups, right? We got. That. Do you think you are getting grip on logistics? Yeah, I mean, the diff it's like a different world from now and two, three weeks ago. Right? So really a different world. But do you understand importance of looking at the map? I mean, you had a great catch right there for the transit. So that's a big plus right away. You're like, okay, this is too tight. This is too long, right? So that's good. So that's practicing now. And you do the quick rate search. So that's great. You've been listening. You're a good student. I know you have a great communication skills, but good luck. Good luck. We're not <laughs> done for today. Good luck. It's good luck when you going to deliver that load. So asking, right? Asking for, well, man, I'm going to call you back. Make sure it's happening, right? Well, you know, we still need to get the results from this, right? Today, right. not tomorrow, not yesterday. We need that load today. today. So that was great. Then a great example of setting up with somebody who wants one year in a business, right? Telling them, guys, come on, give us a chance. We have a good, because you guys have a reliable uh, carrier. Yes, it's a new company, but you can say, what arguments can you say? Well, this guy have been on the road for five years. He just opened his company. Can you guys help us out, right? So you can give them a speech. Well, guys, what about supporting new carriers, right? You guys big, you can do that, right? And he did, right? He did. But whose who's, uh, speech uh, that supposed to be? Mine or yours? Supposed to be mine. Exactly. So now you know it's done, right? So do you see in a real life, if you really have communication skills and you can ask for something, you can receive. You ask universe, can we get set up? The universe is like, yes, Avi, of course, today is a good day for you. Or it can say no, Avi, because you forgot to ask about this, right? <laughs> so, guys, I want you to understand. Do you see, Armina, how many nice ladies today were there listening and being very patient with you, right? Yes. Today, it was one of those days. But in reality, Armina, if you're going to call 7, 8 o'clock and everybody's busy, 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 believe me, you're not going to get that. So that's why I want you to sign up one more time for practice and really see when they hang up on you, when they don't want to talk, when they don't have patience, because today you've been lucky and that's why it's good. So no more nervousness. Okay. So after today, I still want you to practice. I'll send you the link. I'll see Avi again, guys. You did a good job. Today's the first day, right? right? I mean, big progress, big progress. Okay. But good job. Proud of you. Proud of you. Smiles. Smiles, Armena. You did good. You did I good. I like I did. You did? No, because it's the first time. Come on. It's easier for me. I've been doing it. And you guys did good. And you've been uh, getting the results. You got setups. We got the question. That you almost booked a flatbed <laughs> for the truck, which we don't have. Come on. How can you say you did not do good? You did great. You, you, you need you skills have, for that. You have to have <laughs> skills for that to book load without trucks. You know, you have to be really good at booking loads without trucks, right? <laughs> so you did good. Plus, you got even 7,300 extra, right? Plus, right. we were not set up, so you would get set up. So how can you tell you did not do good? You did awesome. Guys, good job. I'll see you soon.